Sound pressure is a variation of ambient pressure caused by a sound wave. When we measure sound pressure level, we use the dBSPL measurement. It's a logarithmic measure of the changes in pressure relative to a reference level. The reference for sound pressure level is the threshold of human hearing, that is 20 micropascals. Human hearing can range from 0 dB to 120 dB, which is the threshold of pain. When we're measuring sound pressure, we need to consider that human hearing is not linear in pitch. Higher frequencies are usually perceived as louder than lower frequencies. We need to also consider that human hearing is not linear in loudness. To perceive an equal change in level, we require doubling or halving the pressure. We also need to take into consideration that the perceived loudness depends on duration. Usually longer tones will sound louder than shorter ones. The equal loudness contours is a chart originally created as a result of the studies done by Fletcher and Munson. These represent the sound pressure level of pure tones that will be perceived as having equal loudness. Using a 1 kHz as the reference level, we can see that curves deep from 1 kHz to 5 kHz, indicating that the ear is most sensitive to this frequency range. Coincidentally, this happens to be the frequency range of human voice. Similarly, lower and higher frequencies must be raised substantially to appear at the same level. The ear is less sensitive to those frequencies. For sound pressure level measurements to be meaningful, they have to mimic the nonlinearity of human hearing. Most, if not all, sound pressure level meters include filters, so the measure output takes this into account. In the audio industry, the most common filters are A and C. The A weighting filter is equivalent to linear hearing at 40 dB SPL. This is generally used for background and noise measurements. C weighting is equivalent to linear hearing at about 100 dB SPL. This filter is used for sound system calibration. B weighting is not as common these days, but it's a curve between A and C. In this diagram, we can see the differences between the three weighting contours. There are some other filters used for sound pressure level metering that don't mimic human hearing, but are used for other type of measurements. The D weighting curve is not based on the equal loudness contours, as it has a pronounced sensitivity at around 6 kHz. This filter is used to reduce the effect of low frequency noise and to recognize the annoyance of high frequencies. It is used to measure high-level aircraft noise. The C weight is a true flat frequency response. This response replaces the older linear or unweighted responses, as these did not define the frequency range over which the meter would be linear. C weighting is a flat frequency response between 10 Hz and 20 kHz plus or minus 1.5 dB. Most sound pressure level meters are very similar. And to properly measure sound pressure level, we need to follow some simple steps. First, we need to verify that the battery is in good condition for measurement. Then, we need to set the wheel level until the needle moves within the meter range, so we're measuring the correct range. Set the proper weighting, A for background noise measurements or C for sound system calibration, and then set the response for the desired results. Then, the sound pressure level is going to be the sum of the value of the wheel plus the needle reading.